Welcome back to Everything Whiskey. I'm Callum. I'm Sam. And today we're reviewing Balcones Brimstone. Alrighty, so Balcones Brimstone. This is a Texan whiskey. Um, <laughs> the cork. <laughs> um, uh, we've, we've had this, we've both had this before. Yeah. Uh, this bottle though, this is the first bottle we bought. Um, spoiler, I love this. I like You've this been one. on and off, but for the most part, you're yeah. very on board with this. Um, I need to be in the mood. Yeah, I think it's one of those ones because it's such a. I, I heard it. Someone's coined it as Texan Texas's Lafroig, and I I really I think yeah, that's a good that, one. Yeah. I think it's a good descriptor for this one because it is that kind of extreme. Um, it's a good one. <laughs> it just hits you. Yeah. Now, um, I don't know, I'm really interested in Balconas uh, for a few reasons. Uh, they've kind of blown up recently, I assume, because of uh, the Whiskey Vault, Whiskey Tribe's input, but also because they've just been bringing out really interesting, cool, damn good whiskey. Now, this one is uh, obviously Brimstone. As we said, it's 55, so 53% alcohol. Um, but the cool thing about this, obviously, it's uh, corn whiskey. Uh, not just like regular old bourbon and stuff. Um, yep. Now it's with their baby blue corn. I'm not quite sure what that means. But I assume it's just what their kind of base level uh, corn type. Because they're, mm. they're kind of going with like terroir theory of, you know, grain glass. Paying attention to every, you know, kind of step. Um, but anyway, the, the cool thing about this is it's smoked with scrub oak. But not the regular way because... Uh, corn is such a sheer surface, nothing really sticks to it very well. So smoking the grain uh, doesn't work like you do with malting barley because also uh, corn, you don't need to malt it. It's not like, you know, th there's yeah. not that process involved. So they actually smoke the whiskey directly with the Texas scrub oak um, and it gives it definitely that Lafroigy kind of like subtle smokiness, mm. but instead of with peat, uh, it has its its own range of Texan flavors, I reckon. It's got, a, it's got these, I don't know, background smokiness. It's got like a taste like a steak. Uh, tastes like brown sugar. I don't know, it's just a, mm, it's a seriously interesting, uh, oh, not bourbon, sorry, whiskey. It's, it's not bourbon, is it? You can't call it bourbon. Broomstone. I don't know. I don't, I don't know think, you, think can. you can. This is what I imagine every Texas person smelling like. It smells like melted plastic. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure that's a hefty insult. I love the smell of this, but I don't know if I'd be like, you smell great <laughs> if it came from a No, person. that's not supposed to be disrespectful. <laughs> like, this is how I imagine every Texan in a pub would smell like. Walking it's, out I of I think pub. Texan pub would smell like. Mm. It's, I don't know. It's got like this Texan barbecue. It's got, yeah. it smells like burning tires. It smells like, it smells <laughs> like. It's such disrespect. I, I love this yeah. whiskey. Like, this is. No, I don't um, know. Not the whiskey, the fact that we're pinning on what yeah, we no. I don't, it just, I, I have seen comments like left on reviews of these whiskeys on sites and they are hilarious because people are really kind of talking about it the same way that people used to talk about Lafroy. Um, like, you know, making out with a melting crayon kind of thing. Like, the, you know, like it's just, it's mm. interesting and it's hilarious. This whiskey is fantastic. Like, I assume it's definitely not going to be everyone's cup of tea, oh, no. but... No. It's no cup of tea. It's a damn glass of hefty Texas bourbon. Not bourbon, sorry. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. <laughs> it's a spirit. Yeah, it's because it's corn. It's not. Um, no. Yeah. Let's jump into the nose, right? Um, it's salted. Salting. Oh, sorry. It's like salt <laughs> salty. <laughs> salted, brown, sugared, caramel. Um. This background layer of smoke, nothing like peat smoke, so don't compare this to anything peated in Scotland. It's not like that at all. It's literally like burning plastic, the smoke. Yeah, the smoke is like, yeah, but it's it's subtle. It's not like a art bag or anything like that. It's not, I don't know. The way I would describe the smoke in a very non-attractive way is an antibacterial hospital spray. <laughs> Like, you yeah. get, it's like a very, I don't know, it's it very smells clean. extremely clean and corny. Yeah. But it's it also smells like smoke. someone's disinfected, like, something. Yeah. Like, but not in a bad way. Like, for me, like, the smell, like, yes, that is that note, but the overall, there's a, it's a really sweet smelling whiskey. 
mm. uh, the palette as well. But on the nose, um, it's kind of like someone encrusted a steak with brown sugar and some peppercorns. Like yeah. it's that. Re it's not like a regular just because uh, I think Ardbeg. It's a lot of Ardbegs at least. Uh, this kind of like clean, smoky, um, meaty barbecue. But this, it's like got this heavy, salted, caramely, brown, sugary sweetness in there with a bit of that kind of like, I don't know, tire, you know, that rubbery kind of... Yeah, it's um, like a rubber note. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I want to get into the taste. It's beautiful. I'm just going to go in for it. It's dark as hell though. Mm. Like, I don't know. Like, it's a damn dark whiskey. It's as dark as stag. That's a dark whiskey. It's it kicks you around a little bit. <laughs> I love this whiskey so much. You obviously get those. It's pretty heavy corn notes, I find. Definitely corn. Yeah. Um, look, you can kind of taste the rubber, like what I imagine what rubber actually tastes You're like. Getting that more savory meatiness, like genuine yeah, you know, yeah, meat, yeah, like yes. a, an actual steak. Um. Some like crayon, some waxiness going on. How oh, really? Yeah, really? It's fairly really. It's got legs for days. Yeah. I'm find it really hard to draw out notes in this. I, I find it hard to draw out a lot of notes in this. Because it is so strong and punchy, I think that like we've got mm. a few, like we've got few very direct and accurate notes, and then the rest are all just like kind of shrouded by those notes. Mm. It really sucks the moisture in your mouth as well. It's like really sweet, but it's also got that yeah, moisture yeah. sucking bitterness going on. It's got a really long finish as well. Yeah, goes for days. Um, Just looks like for days. For days, for days. <laughs> yeah. No, that's actually kind of what I'm tasting. That sweetness, sorry, um, is kind of like a honey roasted pork. Like it's that meaty barbecuedness, but with like a hell of a lot of sweetness, like this honeyness. I don't know. Yeah. And there's brown sugar. A lot of brown sugar. Touch of honey? Yeah. You have to search for that though, it's not, not a prominent nose. No, like Take. the honey pork is more like sweet meatiness. It's mm. not like an actual really strong honey note. It's hard to describe why I enjoy this whiskey. Yeah. I just like it. Um, it's like charcoal. Licking some, just, it's as if someone poured over corn whiskey onto a direct, like a log that's been on fire for days and it's had some steaks cooked on it at some point in that period. Like that's, lick that and that's what this is. I don't know, it's a very complex, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, that's, it's a, it's a complex whiskey. Like a, it's, it's, it's not an everyday drinker though. Um, uh, you have to be in the mood. Yeah. For, for me, you have to be in the mood. I mean, I'd like to drink it every day, but I don't think it would help. Like, I don't think that I would... You I'd blow out your palate, you wouldn't be able to enjoy anything else. Mm. So probably, yeah. Um, I've yeah. had this for about two months, and... you got about half a bottle. About yeah. half a bottle, which is pretty yeah. slow for us, considering... We're us. Yeah. <laughs> that really doesn't sound that well, but... <laughs> that sounds too flash, but... Thank you very much for watching this episode of Everything Whiskey. Uh, go pick up Balcona's. I do recommend it. I don't I can't guarantee you'll like it because it's pretty strong flavours, mm. but I do guarantee you've probably not had anything like it before. Uh, so if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see our future videos, give us a sub. If you want to check out our socials, the link below. See you in the next one. Cheers.